What's up, YouTube? D-O-double-G back again for Retro Bros. And I'm doing something that I don't usually do that often, and it's a pickup video. So let's get right on into it. Over the last couple months, I've just gotten a few bits and bobs, knickknacks, stuff that I can put on the retro shelf into the game room. The big mama cedar right here. And is this. Something that I did not purchase, but I was got given this as a present. And it's a big ass pipe with a piranha plant in it <laughs> and just as a present a random present from a fan of the retro bros on D on his name uh, he's, he's really top bloke always watches our stuff uh, good friend of the bros uh, extended family if you will as well so he got us this out of nowhere was not expecting anything like that he is a plumber by trade and he uh, found this perfect perfect end of a pipe and he thought, you know what, I'm gonna make it and put a little piranha plant in it. So total respect, man. Thank you very much for that. Um, all I'm gonna do now, I reckon, is just spray paint or paint this bad boy into a nice bright green. And uh, I can place it somewhere pretty damn good on the shelf and it would look damn good. So thanks, Dion. Appreciate it, bro. All right, so another little thing I picked up over the last couple months playing with super power this is a friggin good book man like the size of this thing as well thick as anything and i'm telling you there's a lot of stuff to read up on here man very good artwork um just educational as anything basically everything super nintendo all the best games that you think I'm talking about. Pretty damn good. If you want to get your hands on one, check it out. It's awesome. Another thing we got here is I saw this first time quite a few months back now on Simon's uh, channel, the PSX Collector. Awesome guy, by the way, guys. If you like PlayStation, if you like retro PlayStation, if you like current gen PlayStation stuff, check out the PSX Collector. There's a sign right there. I'm going to put a link down below for this guy. He's brilliant youtuber he comes up with some of the unique playstation stuff that you'll ever see and his game room is like mwah, mint minty minty mint 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 game room i can't say mint enough it's that mint psx collector on youtube check him out if you haven't already but i first saw this from him and i've been wanting to get it for ages and it's the uh playstation lights all the symbols and stuff that light up and I can't wait to plug this bad boy and put it up there, maybe next to the Nintendo. Maybe next to the Nintendo sign. So, definitely happy with this pickup. Another little pickup I got, um, which is pretty random. I just saw them in uh, one of the video game stores. And I fell in love with them and I had to get it. So, being as this is my bar area in my game room, check these things out. They are mini. They are tiny little mini coasters of PS1 games there's Resident Evil the original Wipeout Gran Turismo Parappa the Rapper Dino Crisis Street Fighter Alpha 2 Resident Evil 2 and Destruction Derby look they just they're coasters they are actual coasters little rubber things on the bottom of them you can place it here, put your beer on it, have a chat about the game. It's freaking cool. I absolutely love these. I would love to see if there's actually a shitload more games to collect. Because I may have to start collecting them all. There's no discs. You'd think it'd almost be good for the PlayStation Mini. But um, but no. They're absolutely just beer, drink, coasters, whatever you want to use them for. I'm using them as just displaying. But I love them. So there you go. A little pick up. I fell in love with this one. It is... Conker's Bad Fur Day figurine. Little Conker. 
I'm deciding whether to take him out of the box or not. I'm still not deciding yet. He can sit up next to next to my Conker's Bad Fur Day on the N64, which is a bloody expensive game. And I've got it in a nice condition in a box, so it's worth a bit. But maybe I can put this guy. Maybe I'll take him out of the box. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't mind taking stuff out of boxes. Um, but you know, he looks cool holding up his two machine guns, little Conker boy. But pretty happy with that little one. Last but not least, a Pixel Pal Mario Brothers with his hand up saying peace. So pretty cool with that. And that's about it. That's about it. My little knickknacks, bits and bobs, little stuff that's going to stick in the game room. So hope you guys enjoyed this because I could probably do these once every couple months maybe because I don't buy many games anymore. Shit's just got too expensive. Um, having a mortgage house, new bubba, all that sort of stuff. But I tend to, you know, keep my eyes open and, and, and buy little things that I can add to the game room. But look, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Dear Double G.